Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm just talking family talk right now. I am having a difficult time. I've never never thought I'd go through this. So you ladies chime in. <laughs> and you men help me out. Because I'm having a difficult time with the aging process. Part of it is, ever since I took care of my husband, I took care of him for about four and a half years, changing diapers, cl bathing, clothing him, uh, shifting him from bed to wheelchair and back. And it's been a 24 hour journey you know around the clock journey so to speak now my husband was more than worth it i don't regret it at all we had very rich moments i mean we had a very rich relationship now i'm saying all that to say this now some of you can relate some of you men can relate to this as well during that time, I grayed quickly and I aged in my face. And that was very difficult for me to adjust to. And I'll be 64 in July. And I am seeing it. And I'm, I'm really having a hard time. I know this is not the typical Pat love. Pat's two cents. I'm being really, really vulnerable right now, so y'all bear with me. I'm having a difficult time missing my husband, and I'm having a difficult time aging. And one of the reasons you see me with this wrap, which believe it or not, one of my YouTube viewers who has her own uh, channel, she sent me this as a gift like um you know something that you give to a, a, a co-worker in the vineyard so to speak and I, she didn't know i'd be wearing this out <laughs> but the reason i'm wearing it out is because i have gray hair my hair is predominantly white and i'm already seeing age on my face i like white hair but i haven't gotten used to it on me just yet and the reason the the wrap is on my head is because my hair is still a good length in the back but it got really weak all up in here from the medication that I had to take from my four stays in the hospital in the summer and my body wasn't used to all that medication. And I mean, they were throwing at me left and right because they thought I was going to die. I started out in ICU, 12 days in ICU. So it was kind of a real touch and go thing there. Uh, now, what I want to say, I say all that to say this. Uh, I am really asking you to uh, pray for me. Uh I'm asking God for ministry. I'm just sharing right now. This is, this, I'm not saying anything to help anybody else out. I'm asking for help. I don't care who you are or what you do. There are times when life gets a little iffy. And even though I know I have God in my life and I know he loves me and he gives me peace and reassurance and all of that. I still have a hard time. Now, I'm not hurting. I'm not in pain. <laughs> None of that. I'm, I'm waiting on my healing from God. But I'm asking you to pray for me. Since my husband passed away, doing this YouTube ministry has also been 
ministry to me because it takes my mind off of missing my husband and the Bible says when you water others you water yourself so I'd rather water others than to sit and pity party so you guys pray for me I'm in a weird place I wouldn't call it a funk it's not that because God is really keeping me filled with joy but I feel like I've been in a quandary since my husband passed away I miss his personality I miss his humor I miss his strength I miss his wisdom ah he was a phenomenal man and I believe the Lord is going to have me be single for the rest of my life. So that's another thing that I am coming to terms with. And I'm asking you to pray for me. Because this whole aging process, my body going through changes, not being able to go and play racquetball and ride my bike all over the neighborhood and go swimming um, all day every day <laughs> I'm trying to balance between I'm trying to get rid of the AFib for good I am praying away the uh, congestive heart failure that the doctors diagnosed me with I am not owning any of it but I still have to deal with medication. So the reason for the wrap, I get back to that, is because I cut all my hair around here, about that short, to cut all the color out. I'm not gonna color my hair for a long time until either I get used to the white hair and don't have to worry about it, or until uh, God has manifested his total healing and I no longer have to take medications you know medications will jack your hair up and I'm a hairstylist so it's very difficult for me to have my hair looking sorry I'd rather wrap it and dress it and and uh, accessorize it with hats wraps whatever and wigs than to have it sitting out embarrassing me. <laughs> ah, this is a long video and it's really about nothing. But anyway, I'm just asking you as my YouTube family in Christ. Keep me in prayer. I do go through these dips every once in a while. And there's no reason for it. It's not like I'm going through a trial. None of that. But taking care of my husband really took its toll on me. And I'm still recovering from it. You know, God kept me. Because I know a lot of caregivers die before the people they're taking care of pass away. But God kept me and protected me. And he's been healing me all along the way and helping me. So, anyway... Pray for me. I'm feeling quite vulnerable right now. I will try to do some videos later that have nothing to do with moi. And I thank you for your support and just deal with all this old looking stuff. I'm trying to deal with it so y'all help me and deal with it too. God bless you. <laughs>